Hey guys, belated Merry Christmas and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through some presents I got for my birthday and for Christmas. My birthday is exactly a week before Christmas which is great. <laughs> I got a lot of presents this December and I'm just gonna show you through some of the stuff I got. I'm hoping that it will help anyone who is either vegan and doesn't really know what to ask for for gifts or if you're buying for a vegan and you don't know what to get them. Um, hopefully I've got a few like inspirational ideas here. So I've been vegan for 11 years now, which means not only have I had a lot of practice with vegan Christmases, but so have my family. They kind of know where to shop, where not to shop, what I like and all these things. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go through it. Again, some of them are birthday gifts, some of them are Christmas gifts, some of them have been gifts for myself, some I've got a couple of PR boxes in here as well, like beauty boxes that I got sent through this month. So there's a lot to go through. Let's start. So I'm actually going to start with my advent calendar. This one was from Montezuma's. It was a gift from Tom. I like nice stuff dark chocolate and as far as I'm concerned Montezuma's and Hotel Chocolat do the best vegan advent calendars because they do really nice dark chocolate ones but they're quite expensive this costs like 10 quid which is a lot to spend on an advent calendar so this one wasn't quite a gift for me it was a gift I bought for the cat so I got Tula this cushion and because it looks like her with a flower crown I had lovely high hopes of her really loving this and just sitting by it every day and I don't think she's really even looked at it, so. What do you think, Tula? <laughs> it's so pretty. I got this from a shop in Spitfields. The name of the brand is Pignut. I'm gonna leave a lot of details in the details section. Oh, and do like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. Okay, so let's move on to some books. I used to ask for loads when I was younger, but now that I have a Kindle, there are only a few books that I'd actually ask for physically. Here we have the Little Book of Life Hacks. I got this from Tom's family. It's just quite a cute little book. So there's like some stuff on DIY beauty. I oh, know, I think it's quite girly things, like cliche girly things, like design your dream pad, domestic diva, feed yourself, social butterfly, love your body, love your mind. Um, let's just turn to one page here. 12 house plants for improving indoor air quality in your home. So that's quite a nice little page here. Yeah, we've got one house plant. It's going strong. We spritz it every day. This book was from my dad and it's called Read This If You Want to Take Great Photographs. So for my birthday, I've asked money towards getting a nice proper camera. I got some money from my parents for my birthday, which has gone um, towards that. Yeah, this uh, gift my dad's just gonna explain to me the basics, I suppose. But um, Tom got the same book from his family as well. So um, we actually have two copies of this now and I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with the extra one. Then this one I actually asked for. It is Feminists Don't Wear Pink and Other Lies. I was really mostly interested in this because of the whole hoo-ha that went on when so penguin had um, worked with Topshop to do this big publicity event for this book the owner philip green when he came into the oxford store and saw that set up he was just like take it all down I th i'll leave a link to like that news story below one of the reasons i boycotted Topshop, i actually might do a blog post on that on reasons i i no longer shop at Topshop or any other philip green stores that whole hoo-ha got me talking about the book and got me really interested and i've seen good reviews online and by online i mean on instagram it's it's a collection of stories and content pieces from a lot of incredible women so uh, it should be a very good read and yeah you've got a list of like all the women on the back my sister got me this makeup brush cleaner I'm actually not too sure how it works I haven't given it a go yet maybe New Year's Day or sometime in January when I'm broke and bored I'll I'll give them all a good clean using this quite a cool little gift I got a few gift cards for the body shop. Let me know below what your favorite products are from the body shop. I actually buy their foundation quite a lot, so it might go to that, but I'd like to kind of like treat myself something a little bit more special maybe. They have a really cool new moisturizer, which is very quick dry, which I think I'm gonna get. We'll see, we'll see. Recommendations, please. Okay, I've got a bit more chocolate here. This is the Herbivore gift set from Montezuma's. What have I got in here? I've got these organic dark chocolate turtles, these moon dance pralines. What are they? Almond praline and dark chocolate. They are so delicious. Giant chocolate buttons. And then a few bars in here as well. So I've got the Sea Dog, Lordy Lord with cocoa nibs and the very dark chocolate. I've got a lot of chocolate. It'll keep me going till about Easter. I don't expect to get more chocolate. All in all, very happy. Let me find all the Montezuma stuff and we'll go through. They're one of my favorite people for vegan chocolates. Makes sense that I get a lot from them. And they're quite luxurious. I can't afford to buy them myself. So when it comes to my birthdays or Christmas, my family know that I love them. And 
they treat me. I also got this um, nutmeg drinking chocolate from them. I'm actually not too keen on this. I've tried doing a hot chocolate with it already. It wasn't very sweet, but I can add sugar. I'd actually rather it be less sweet than too sweet because you can't take it away. So they come in these discs and you just have to stir that into hot milk on the stove top and it's just a bit bit much faff for me really but it, like if you actually do go through with it and do it well it is so worth it it's such a nicer hot chocolate than using powder also from Montezuma's there is this dark chocolate with rose and vanilla which is so up my street I love rose I love vanilla I love chocolate and then I've got these peanut butter truffle bites as well which are incredible these were in a the vegan kind box earlier this year and oh my god they were so nice if you're a fan of Reese's Pieces peanut butter chocolate like it's a perfect marriage can't go wrong definitely recommend my dad got me this little hot chocolate set from sweet and kind vegan sweets there was a vegan market in our hometown and these guys were there and they had a nice little hot chocolate set so there's like powder in here you've got some marshmallows ah chocolate coins and these little candy canes so I'm really looking forward to making myself on that and of course it came with the mug quite a nice little gift and even if you can't buy this yourself maybe consider making one for someone uh, you may already know this but um, I'm a massive Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan Tom got me a comic book which complements the series we've been re-watching Buffy for about a year now we're just on season 7 the last season it's getting really tense it's nearly over oh, I love the show it's my favourite do yourself a favour watch it in 2019 if you haven't already now I'm going to be talking to you guys about a brand called Rich Rituals. I have not ever used them before. I wasn't aware that they were vegan or cruelty free. I think it's quite new this year that they've started doing anything along those lines. On the back of the products it does say that it's vegan, it's cruelty free and it's free from a lot of nasties but, but as we all know just putting that you're vegan and cruelty free on the back of a box doesn't make you vegan and cruelty free so I do just want to double check with them. I'm feeling pretty confident that it is all quite legit and good. So here I have a mild cleansing milk. I also have a skin brightening face exfoliator. Here I've got the uh, 24 hour hydrating gel cream. This product is probably one that I'm most excited about and one I really want to talk to them about. It comes in this beautiful tub and it's like got a lovely marble effect. It feels really nice and luxurious. Then you've got the cream here and it pops out so you can go into the store once you're done with this and get it refilled. Yeah so I just want to get in contact with them, talk to them about the cruelty free, the vegan and the refilling because it all actually sounds really really good and I hope it isn't too good to be true. It wouldn't be Christmas without Lush right? I've got the high holidays gift set. Within it I have the Yognog Yule Log Bubble Bar, the Plum Pudding Bath Melt and the Pearl de Sal bath bomb. Oh my, it smells incredible. I, ha I went to the Lush sale as well, just like a couple of days ago. So right after Christmas, they do a huge sale where it's 50% off all of their festive items. So if you haven't already been, do get down there and see if there's anything left because I got like so much for 35 quid. It was crazy. I was just talking about packaging. Everything I got in their sale was naked. All these products naked. Well, clearly not, there's a gift box, but no plastic basically is what I'm trying to say there. Okay, here is a really, really lovely gift from my friend Ellie. So she does these really gorgeous, fashiony portraits. I think she's a bit sexier than me, but that's cool. Yeah, I just love it. It's just, it's just very me down to the, um, down to the necklace. Got a frame coming in the post for it. I'm not sure where it's gonna go. I've asked Tom, where, where can we put Nicole? We haven't, we haven't decided yet. And I'm gonna leave a link below in case you want to get yourself a nice little Ellie Calder original. I think they make really gorgeous gifts. It bears a good amount of resemblance, just a little bit more gorgeous. <laughs> Wish my hair just fell like this. Now I'm gonna get on to some of the beauty boxes that I got this month. The cruelty free beauty box. I did a giveaway with them on the build your own box and researching it. I was like, oh, I'll have a look at this. And I ended up ordering myself something. For 20 pounds, I got myself some bath salts. This Eden perfume, it's number 87, eye crayon from Mana. And it's really, really shimmery. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. The best spot treatment cream like ever. I ordered this and so did my friend Shada. I was like messaging her because, um, yeah. Basically, you pick four products and then the fifth product's a bit more of a luxurious item. And then that, this one was my fifth product, this eye shimmer. Um, but I also saw that they had the um, PHB really hydrating mask and she used this when we were having a sleepover and she loved it so I sent my friend Shader a message and just said hey get this box because you can get this which I think is worth like £12 or something I'm not too certain and like four other items for 20 quid. And she was like, okay, yeah, I'm getting on that because she was going to buy this anyway. She asked me what I'd ordered and I said, oh, I got this spot treatment. I got blah, 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 blah. And she was like, oh, I'm going to go for the spot treatment too. It's it's magic, like seriously. The night before my Christmas party, I got a cleavage spot. Not ideal. Dabbed a bit of this on there and the morning it was gone. And then she sent me a text just the other day like, oh my God, it is magic. Same thing happened to her. She had a huge spot, dabbed it on, 
disappeared. If you do build your own box, definitely get the Evolve Organic Beauty Spot Treatment. And yeah, there were a couple of other bits in here as well. Definitely, definitely recommend the Cruelty Free Box. These boxes aren't all still full of what they had in them when I first got them, so I'm not gonna say do an official unboxing because I'm gonna get some shit wrong. But here I've got the Vegan Kind Beauty Box which I got this month because there's me on the back giving you some makeup bag tips. I, that was very exciting for me. Because of that, they sent me a box through. And one of my favorite things from it was this Betty Hula hand cream. So it's antibacterial and moisturizing, which is great. There's a Lily Lolo mascara, which I've heard great things about for years. So I'm really excited to try this out. There was also a face polish. There was a very like mattifying primer in here as well, which I've sent across to my friend Shader because that was another thing she was looking for. Yeah, if my friends let me know, like, oh, I'm looking for this, I'm looking for that, do you know a cruelty-free alternative? I'll keep a lookout and then if I get anything sent across to me, I'll be like, hey girl, I got you covered, here you go. Oof, next up, the Pip Box have released a cruelty-free collaboration with Leaping Bunny. They have done a box which is worth 110 pounds and they're selling it for 40 quid. So I'm just gonna show you some of my favorite things from there because it is quite full box. I definitely recommend it. If you're looking for some cruelty-free products, give this a go, it's great. So they've got, for example, this Eye Grow Lash Serum. They've got a little like statement about Primark Beauty. To be honest, I don't think I'm gonna use the Primark Beauty range. Whilst it's affordable, it's still not like one of the best tools to support, but cruelty-free, I, I don't think the whole Primark Mac range is vegan and I don't know whether or not they've got a list either I don't think they do but for now all I can say is that the amber passion eyeshadow palette is vegan friendly and the shades are really beautiful and they've all got names as well I love it when they come with names so here's some natural deodorant I've been using it um, for a two or three days now and it works. Initial impressions, yes, but it wouldn't be the first time a natural deodorant works for me for a day or two and then just falls apart. Not literally, just like I start to stink. And I'd say this was kind of like the statement gift in the box. So this is a really fancy Kiwico toner. Never heard of the brand before and it smells beautiful and it's like this gorgeous perfume bottle. It, it's very luxurious, it's very nice. There's a lot of stuff in here. That was just a little bit of a snapshot. As I said, it's worth £110, it costs £40, and there's a lot of cool stuff in here to try out, a lot of different brands. Some you've heard of before, some you haven't. Check that out, I'll leave a link below, as with everything else. One last thing, promise, nearly over. So here is Shade Search. They are a new beauty box on the block. Their whole ethos is about promoting vegan and cruelty-free products by black or minority owned companies. And basically the whole reason it was founded is because the lady who founded it, Loy, was really fed up with seeing some really great companies go out of business because there was no discovery. And there are so many people who do want to support smaller businesses, who do want to support black businesses, and they just can't get past that discovery stage. It's like, I want to support these businesses, where are they? So there was quite a nice few things in this box. Some of them are now in my bathroom, but like there was shampoo, the really gorgeous highlighter. Um, there's a bath bomb, some whipped shea butter. Yeah, it's a really lovely box. It smells incredible. This is some really nice glitter. But basically, if you're looking to shop a bit more ethical next year, if you want to have some vegan products, if you're looking to support some more like black minority owned companies, because let's face it, veganism can feel very white at times. You do get a bit sick of supporting the same image, like for example, rituals where it's all like, oh yeah, we're, we're those yoga white girls. There, there's more to veganism and it's important to support a wider variety of people rather than the same old shit all the time. Definitely think they're one to watch. I'll, I'll be doing a proper blog post on these guys because I think there's a big message that needs to be shared with them. So I'm gonna stop waffling now. Last couple of things, I got some nice new earrings and I got a nice new anklet. They were both from Misoma, who are just a pretty jewellery brand. I don't have anything to say about their ethics. That's that's it. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Let me know below what great things you got. And I hope this really helped you out. I hope maybe next time you've got to buy a gift for a vegan or you've got to ask for gifts from family, you can give them a few more suggestions, really. So thank you again for watching. Do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. And until next time, bye.